Okay, we're about to start off with Joe's world famous banana pudding. You can see I've got my milk, my cookies, my banana, my egg yolks, cornstarch, flour, and I can't think of anything else. I'm going to put two thirds plus a little and a half of sugar. Then I'm going to put one good tablespoon of flour. If I can get my cornstarch out here. Should have had that ready. And I'm going to put about a level tablespoon of cornstarch in my sugar. I mean, in my sugar and flour. Then I take this and I mix it good. So I've got all the flour lumps in out. That sugar will help those flour lumps to break up. So I spend a little time on this. Until I'm sure I still see a lump or two, but I'm going to work on it a little bit. Be patient with me. Because we will work with that a little bit more. All right, now I don't know how much milk I put in here. This is a fourth of a cup. So we're going to say one. to a half a cup now. Then I put my egg yolks in. That's three egg yolks as you see. Then I commence to mix all this together. And I let it be pretty thick because it's easier to work the eggs and get them all mixed and any remaining lumps. I'm going to get my, my outfit here and give this a good stir so I've got everything mixed up. That just splattered over me and probably the camera. I'm gonna walk over here now and I'm going to Turn my heater on to just a little above low. So we want this to cook good and slow. And I'm gonna continue this mixing process here. Then I went outside just a minute ago and a fly followed me in. I'm gonna put them one, two, three, four. So that's a cup and a half of milk that I've all added. 
A lot of times I will use uh, condensed milk, but I didn't think about it this time. I had already gotten my milk out. And I'm going to stir this real good. Get a saucer out here so I don't have to lay my beater out on the cabinet. So I will beat this a little bit. Now the heat is going real slow. And I will probably, more than likely, add some milk and adjust it as it begins to thicken. I'm gonna bring that heat up just a tad. And I'm gonna walk over here and get my vanilla extract, have it ready. And get my butter. That is real salted butter. So I have those ingredients left already. Now I'm gonna get my favorite stirrer out and if you watched my video on the jelly, you'll know that I use this thing quite often if I'm trying to keep anything from sticking. All right, we'll go through this process and then I'll come back and show you when it starts getting ready. As you can see, I'm back with you now and my pudding is beginning to thicken and I've turned the burner down quite a bit, just one notch above low and making sure that it's not sticking anywhere. I also have put the first layer of cookies in my bowl. Now we'll watch this closely right here because if it starts thickening up too much for me, and right now it looks pretty good, I'm gonna turn off the heat and let it continue cooking because as you know, these electric range tops do not cool off very quickly. And I got this done and I don't see a lamp one, do you? All right, I'm gonna let it cool off. while I get my butter and I will take a couple of little slices of my butter with my knife. Then I will drop in, sounded like something dropped. I will now put in a good splash of vanilla. Hope you saw that. And then I will mix. I'm gonna take it over here to my station. And stir and let that mix. And I'm gonna take my first banana and I'm not real particular where they fall. I'll put one banana on the first layer. You see I've got my cookies out there. I like quite a few bananas in my banana pudding. Otherwise you can call it a cookie pudding. 
and there was this one slice in this little bowl will be enough. I'll just slice this along here and then when I'm through I will leave them, level them out a little bit. Make sure my butter and my vanilla is mixed good. I'm gonna cool this off and pardon me, but I'm gonna taste my pudding. Tastes like pudding to me. Okay, now I'm gonna pour my pudding over. Then I will put Another layer of cookies, that cookie saved because it fell. But I guarantee you, Hawk heard that cookie fall and he will get it. He's already got it. I don't have to worry about anything falling around Hawk on the floor, that is. He prefers my food to his dog food. Okay, now we're going to go here. I'll let these bananas get pretty ripe, not overripe. You see they're not, not, they're turning black a little, but not much. All right, now I may put two layers of bananas on this, because I like, as I said, lots of bananas. Because I don't want anybody calling it cookie pudding. And I see a lot of people that make cookie pudding. All right, I'm going to even put more banana on. I doubt if I'll use all of this one. So I will have about a half of it or more left and I'll have a little snack. Two or three more slices. Then on top, with the rest of my bananas, I mean the rest of my pudding, and sort of smooth this out. Get the last little bit of goodness. Y'all gonna have to forgive me because I'm gonna clean up my spoon. Mm. That is good. Got all my dishes there because I like to clean up. 
Got a little bit of a mess right there. Get that over, because we're going to put on And it's so good I couldn't resist that. All right, now on top, I put a little layer of cookies just here and there as decoration and there is Joe's Uncle Joe's famous banana pudding now I'll cover it up with some plaster wrap and Zane and I will share that for de dessert tonight and maybe all I have is banana pudding and a glass of milk thanks for watching I do wish you would Subscribe and like my videos. It would help. I've got 462 subscribers and I'm trying to get 500. So give me some help. Thank you.